We are going to do a review on Secrets Cap Canada today. So just for a little bit of context, we did five nights in a preferred club junior suite tropical view in uh, mid-August. So let's just jump right into it. And we're in the lobby, by the way, waiting to be to check out. So if it's a little loud, I apologize in advance for that, but this seemed to be like the best place to do it. So what was the best meal you had? Um, what stands out for me were the, uh, the two cheeseburgers I had, um, and I like those because they're fresh meat, um, just kind of like at home, like fresh everything, ingredients, and not frozen like most resorts have. So, what was your favorite meal? Mine was the Governor Tacos at El Patio, for sure. They were absolutely delicious, and I did love the burger. That was kind of going to be like a runner-up for me, which I'm shocked about still. So, so good. And then, what was your favorite pool? Mine was the main infinity pool right before the beach, where the beach starts. What was yours? Same. same. It was perfect. It was like, we were pool people, but we were able to be right on the ocean. So it was like really the best of both worlds. And I you could see that. everything that was going on. There was activities and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the beach? Uh, I thought it was beautiful. It was a large beach, uh, minimal seaweed, and clear, clear water. Yeah. I thought it was perfect. The beach is huge. I mean, it is so big. And waiter service, the chairs of your preferred club, they had very nice, um, you know, padded chairs. The water was beautiful, shallow, not too much seaweed. It was great. How'd you like the room? I love the room. So again, we were the preferred club, um, Junior Suite Tropical View, and we were in Building 8, which was the best location. We were right next to the preferred lounge, the preferred pool, the main pool, the spa, all the restaurants. I would absolutely request that building again if coming back because it just, it was great. And we had zero room issues. The AC worked perfectly. It was awesome, no complaints. I would say the same thing. I have like the same stuff. The room was nice, close to everything, and good size. Mm -hmm. Favorite drink? The Beach Boy. The Beach Boy was a banana, strawberry smoothie and then you just get some rum on that. What was your favorite drink? I actually uh, noted three drinks that I really loved. I did the pineapple daiquiri, the coco loco, and the beach boy. I thought they were all really good and I'm very particular about my drinks because I don't like aspartame. I just, some, some resorts I just don't even do any frozen drinks because they're just awful. I didn't find that here. I thought they were all really good and I loved the drinks. What would you rate the resort? One to ten? Nine. Nine, okay. 8-8 eight, eight for me. What would you change about the resort? All right. Add slightly more activities. There's not that much going on, but we kind of knew that coming in. Um, the smoking needs to be cut off. There's people smoking like everywhere. There's supposed to be certain sections at Secrets Resorts. Um, so we'll stop that. And um, add a sports bar. Uh, who doesn't love a sports bar? And I don't, they can't really change that now, but make restaurants a little larger, they're a little tight here. So, and then what would you change? So I had pretty much the same thing, the smoking. So smoking gives me an immediate headache and everyone was smoking everywhere. So like in the lobby, in the lobby bar, in the pool, pretty much everywhere except for the restaurants. And it's just like, it was too much for me. So I understand that like the lobby is open air, but like it's mostly closed. So for people that are sensitive to smoke, like myself, it was a really big deal. And I also agree about the entertainment. I would have liked to see a little bit variety in that. So every night they do different music acts, so like singing and dancing. So the genre of music will change. However, the, like the, the yeah, like the premise is the same. So I would like to see. I still I love music, so I would love to see that. But I would like to see like a circus show, a fire show, just like different things. And then also. So we were here five nights and karaoke happened I think three of those nights and poker night happened two times during those nights. So just like a variety, just I would love to see different things. What was your favorite thing about the resort overall? I loved how close the pool was to the ocean again because I could you know still experience the ocean while being in the pool and I thought that the size of the resort was really great. It felt lush without needing to like walk too far. So I don't like a high rise resort at all. I like to be able to walk and meander and just like stroll about. And I thought this was the perfect size for that. 
I, you know, I'm someone, I like to go up to the room a couple times a day, you, you know, you need a hat, you need a charger, whatever. I never felt like it was too far. I felt, okay, I was in a good spot, I'll just run up to the room real quick, or, so I thought it was a really good size. How about you? I'm gonna just be short and sweet, but I think the service was top notch, maybe the best out of any resort. Yeah, I've been to agreed, so yeah. So that was mine. Would you come back? I would come back, but only if they changed the smoking policy because it was just, it was too out of control. So yes and no. I think that if the smoking policy was changed, I would say that this might be my favorite all-inclusive resort that I've been to, but the smoking was really a hindrance to me. I would definitely come back, yes, 100%. And then just kind of like some extra stuff that I wanted to throw in. I think that here Preferred Club is definitely worth it. And I do not say that at every resort. I well, A lot of times we don't do a club level. I think it's worth it here. You have the two extra restaurants that you can go to. You have the preferred pool. You have the preferred beach area. You have the butler. There's just a lot of extra amenities that I think are worth paying for. And I'm not someone that uses a butler really. We're like super low maintenance. But our butler, Leo, was fabulous. He checked on us every day. And I really feel like going preferred club is the way to go if it's in your budget. And I just, I thought that the service was great. I, I was happy with pretty much everything. The food was good. And I like to say things are average. I'll be like, oh, it was, a, it was average food. And a lot of times people take that the wrong way. And I don't mean average in a negative way. But you're at a resort where they're serving hundreds and hundreds of people at the same time. So you can't be expecting like a Michelin resort you know a michelin restaurants so i thought that everything was really good and i would highly recommend it mm -hmm. what do you have to add um my extra i have a i thought there are great sunrises um the beach was beautiful um huge the nightly entertainment shows were good the rock and the queen show if you're here you have to come see those make sure you come see those shows those are the top ones excellent shows the coffee shop was huge i went every morning great service there fancy they had the nice fancy um coffees get those try those out all the daiquiris i think Brittany picked up on it before all the daiquiris were basically they tasted all great um, all of them all fresh um i'll point out one person shout out um the bartender jeffrey at the preferred lounge was excellent he remembered your name after the first day and it's a great resort. Uh, might be the best secrets resort we've been to and we've been to many of them. That's it. Yeah, we really loved it. I mean, overall, great resort and it was an excellent five nights here. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you're interested in coming here yourself and you'd like to use a travel agent, I would love to help you. You can reach out to me on my website at memoriesandmojitos.com. But let me know in the comments what your favorite thing that we did was. So thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and we'll see you real soon on another video.